Hey guys, it's Leslie, and wow, it's been a really long time. I'm a little bit sorry about that. I just got in like a massive reading slash YouTube slump. I just didn't want to do it, basically. I don't know. I, I have this thing where I feel like if anybody else expects me to do something, I hightail it in the other direction. So for some reason, I felt some expectation to keep reading a lot or watching a ton of videos or make videos and then I just stopped doing it all. So I feel good, took a little break, so I'm ready to get back into it. I really don't have much to report since the last time I made a video. I really don't think I've read much of anything. I did read or I listened to one book on audio called The Atomic Girls. I think the author is Janet Beard. It was a pretty standard World War II historical fiction novel. Not great. It was kind of from the point of view of the girls or the people. It's not even just about girls, which is weird. Um, the people who worked on the Manhattan Project in Oak Ridge, Tennessee. So if you want something super light, fluffy, not too much substance, it was pretty interesting. Um, it was fine. So going forward, hopefully I will be more involved in the community and I hope to be making videos more regularly. School is almost out for my kids, so finding time to do videos when they're not home might be a little tricky, but hopefully I can make something work. They're just crazy. So I don't think I could make videos while they're home. So we'll see, we'll see how that goes. Maybe I can figure something out with new locations or maybe even some vlogging. I really want to get one of those mounts where you can put your phone in like your car and do some sort of like talky vlogs while you're driving. I don't really know, but sometimes I feel like I have a lot of interesting thoughts about what I'm reading when I'm driving. So I thought maybe I would figure out a way to do that to share with the world. Who knows? <laughs> we'll see. I make a lot of promises that I don't keep on this channel. So there's that. As for what I plan to read for the rest of this month, I would have loved to have tried to get to another classic. I didn't read one in April, which is one of my goals for read it one classic a month. I didn't do that. I don't know if I'm gonna get one in for May, so that puts me too behind for the year, but plenty, plenty of time to read some classics if I feel like it. What I am doing though right now is a buddy read with Laura over at Paperback Winter and we are reading Obsidio, which is the third book in the, what's it called, the Illuminae Files? Yeah, the Illuminae Files. And this is like a YA science fiction book and it does like, um, has like mass, that's not a word, that's not what I'm trying to say. Mixed media, that's the word, not mass media. Mixed media where it's like, you know, files and just different kinds of like emails or memos or security camera footage, that kind of stuff. So this is the third book. Start with the first one, which is Illuminae, if you're interested. They're pretty quick reads, even though it looks pretty massive, but um, it's a really fun universe and I'm not big on sci-fi uh, like at all, but I do think these books are really fun. So I'm enjoying doing that with Laura. Sorry that I've only read like five pages, Laura, if you're watching this because I said I'm not good with expectations, but I am going to power through and hopefully get a bunch of it read this weekend. And also because I'm in a weird reading slump and not quite sure what I want to read. I figured go back to my roots and read some Harry Potter. I got the illustrated version of The Prisoner of Azkaban back in October. Maybe I got it for Christmas. I don't know. And I haven't read it yet. I remember reading the first two illustrated books like right when I got them. So I think it's time to read this. It's if you've not seen any pictures of the illustrated versions, they're just awesome. That's not even a great one, but I don't know. The illustrations are pretty awesome. I'm not good at um, showing pictures while I'm talking. There's one. It's not even good. It's dark. 
anyway, it's really awesome. I'm looking forward to reading through this. And, you know, The Prisoner of Azkaban was not my favorite of the Harry Potter books when I first read it. I remember being, I'm not a huge time travel fan, and there is definitely elements of that in this story. But as I've reread it throughout the years, I really, really have come to enjoy this. I think just the night bus and the extra characters and meeting Sirius Black, like all of that together is just really, really good. So actually I think Prisoner of Azkaban might be up there close to my one of my favorites of the series. So when you're in a reading slump, read Harry Potter. I mean, if you're me. So that's that. I really don't have too much else to update. My life hasn't really changed. I haven't had any real issues. I've just been lazy. That's just the truth. I've just been lazy. I haven't wanted to film. And okay, that's not really true. I filmed a video of like a review of Bonhoeffer, which I read or talked about a while ago. And I think that video was just trash. It was so bad. I was like, I cannot review books. It's really, I'm not good at it, which is pretty unfortunate when you have a booktube channel. But I'm gonna work on it. I'm gonna try to either try to make those reviews like quickly after I read the book so my thoughts are a little more contained or even do like a vlog style of something that if it's really engaged, like if I'm really engaged with it, maybe if I'm vlogging and just kind of every, you know, few chapters like say, oh, this is what how I feel, or this is what I'm thinking, or this is the writing style because my memory is just crap when it comes to like talking about the books weeks after I've read them. I just, in one ear, out the other, or whatever, it just doesn't stay. So I'm going to work on that. I'm going to work on my book review technique. But until then, if you have any great books that you've read in the past month or two, leave them in the comments because I really need some help picking out a book that's just going to grab me and I really want to just be so immersed in it and honestly if you have a really good fantasy that you could recommend I would like that I don't know what kind of fantasy I like obviously Harry Potter which I don't even know what that's considered in the fantasy world I wouldn't say it's high fantasy because it's takes place like in our world so I don't know riddle me that world what kind of fantasy do I like if it's Harry Potter ish and I do like Game of Thrones, but the books are sort of boring and really long. So something in between, I don't know. Recommend me some fantasy that I will like. That's not too over the top fantastical that I have to suspend my belief. Anyway, this has been rambly, but that's me. I guess we're just going to have to get used to it. But I hope you've all had a good couple of months. And I hopefully will talk to you next week. Bye.